Mark Randa from the Open Design Project here. I'm using this partial cabinet model from a couple of years ago to illustrate some of the features I plan to include in the next blog tutorial. Cabinet making automation with Autodesk Inventor. The casework will be fully skeletal modeled, hopefully as a single part multi-solid body. A lot depends on how the parts need to be configured for their eventual export into a CAM system. The first part in the browser is a skeleton. This will be the foundation of the model in a couple ways. It will be derived into many of the parts where it will control them in one way or another, and the casework will use its geometry and parameters directly. Other parts, those that are not project specific, will use the sketch box and parameters it contains only, but they will use the skeleton externally as positional rigging. The drawer shows an example of the modularity I would like to incorporate. This model was created with Inventor 2010, otherwise I would have created a multi-tabbed form for all of this. But what you see is every option for a purchase dovetail drawer. This would allow a cabinet maker the flexibility to effortlessly outsource portions of a particular project if desired. I want to add simple ERP functionality to the model if at all possible as well. I have an idea as to how to go about it, but I'll need to refine my thoughts. The blogtorial will be starting just after the release of Inventor 2013, which usually happens towards the end of March. The reason for that is we'll be using 2013 for this tutorial. Hope you'll join in. There should be something for everybody.